All right, Aaron here with Superior Singing Method. This is Top Singing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. Does that, did I say that clearly? Top Singing Mistakes, How to Avoid Them. This is part four, this is vocal tone. So what is vocal tone? Vocal tone is the sound quality of your voice. You know, pretty simple. I'm get, oh, toward the end of this video, I'm doing like a giveaway and a few things. Stick around, because I've got some fun things for you to say. Um, but I want to get into the content that you clicked on first, so let's do that. Um, I'll bet, you don't like the sound of your recorded voice. Have you heard your voice? Have you recorded it and heard it back and been like, oh gosh, is that what people are hearing? This is what, this is what everybody hears that I sound like and I still have friends. Have you ever like, have you ever thought about, maybe not that exactly, it's extreme, but um, we can tweak that to some degree. Full disclosure, nobody likes the sound of their voice because what you're hearing out of your head and hearing versus what you hear outside of your head, it just sounds different. It's never gonna line up exactly. So just because you don't like the sound of your voice doesn't mean it's, there's anything wrong with it. But what we can do is we can make some tweaks. We can make it a little boomier, or a little more resonant, or a little, we can, we can help a little bit. Depending on what you want, we can make it a little more, more full, and especially your singing voice, make it more full and resonant in a way that really appeals to people when they hear you singing, right? So that's, that's what we wanna do here. And again, this is a common problem, people not liking their voice. So don't don't get don't get hung up on, on that part. So um, but if you if you if your voice isn't that appealing, there's something about like an odd voice that appeals to people because it's different. And there's and there's another thing where it's just like the voice just quality isn't that good and it's hard to get traction as an artist because it's not resonating with people, right? So we want to get rid of the latter. We want to get rid of the one that's like we want to just make sure everything sounds as good as possible. So now, of course, I have a superior singing method program. It's like an eight week program. And it's, it's, it's great that goes way more into depth on a lot of things. And for this one, it goes very in depth. But I just what I want to do is I just want to give you two things that I think are going to be really helpful that you could do and right now that could that could really help. Okay, Does that sound good. Here we go. First one is one thing that could potentially make your tone not great is nasality, right? Nasality, where if your voice is really like trapped up here in, in your in your nose and up here, then it's it's kind of trapped and it's stuck and it doesn't have that great of a sound. You know, that's um, that could be a problem. And and there's a way that we can help fix that. So what's happening with nasality is more air is coming out of your nose than this, than really needs to be, especially if you're singing. Um, you want obviously most of the air to come out of your mouth, you know, like just a hair, just a little bit coming out of those, but for the most part, pretty much all out of the mouth. So nasality, you have your hard palate. I'm going to jump into this here. So your hard palate, if you take your tongue and you put it on the roof of your mouth, that's your hard palate. And if you take your tongue and go back, and it's like kind of spongy back there, that's what's called your soft palate. This is partially what's affecting the nasality of your voice, right? So if you do, so if I plug my nose, right? If you plug your nose and try and raise your soft palate, and I know you're gonna be like, well, how do I raise my soft palate? But you, you'll, you'll figure it out. Try to just talk with the least amount of nasality as possible. And what you'll do is you'll naturally raise that. I know this sounds confusing, but let's just try it. You, you'll, you'll catch on in a second. So. I'm gonna plug my nose and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk normal without doing anything and then I'm gonna raise up my, I'm gonna to try to not talk nasally and naturally I'm gonna raise my soft palate. So here it goes. So this is me just not doing anything. Can you hear me okay? Uh, this is me talking nasally. So let me try not to talk nasally. Hi, my name is Aaron Anastasi. Hi, hi, hi. So see, it's a lot less. You're still getting a little nasality in there but notice it's a lot less. So I want you to try it. You can even pause the video. And as you're trying to not talk nasally, you're gonna notice that your soft palate, you raised it up a bit. That, that back part, you naturally raised it up. Now, another way the soft palate comes into play, it's like, um, do you remember Kermit the Frog? He's like, hi, I'm Kermit the Frog. That's not the greatest you know, um, likeness or whatever, but that's what's going on. Kermit the Frog, is, it's way up here. The soft palate is way up here, and that's how you get that sound. That's not what you want, but but you don't want it so low that it's, it's got that nasally sound, right? And you don't want it so high that it's also like, 
oh, like operatic, right? So you just want it up a little, that's gonna help with some of your nasality. So mess with that, try that a little bit, and, and but I'll, I'll go ahead and move on to the second one. So another thing, issue that often causes nasality or not great tone is not opening up your mouth enough when you sing. And this could be because of nerves. It could be because of insecurity. It could be any reason or maybe, who knows, who knows? You know, I, I, I've been taking Russian accent lessons um, and and there's something in the Russian culture to where um, they, don't want to, they don't want to open their mouth very much because when they open up their mouth, it's supposed to be like not very good culturally. It's, it's inappropriate to open their mouth very much, right? So their mouth is, it's there. So maybe you're Russian. There could be a million reasons why you're not opening up your mouth when you're supposed to, right? So any, for any reason, but when you sing, when you open up your mouth more, it's got a clearer sound. And, and one way to do this without just being like, I am going to open my mouth a ton is to slightly over enunciate, right? So when you slightly over enunciate when you're singing, so I'm slightly over enunciating right now and it sounds weird because I'm doing that and it could also even sound like I'm talking down to you. But when you're singing, it doesn't sound weird. It just sounds clear and it sounds not nasally and your mouth is, is open, open wide. So try that with any song that you sing, um, you know, whatever it is. So that's all I have to say about that. So I'm gonna transition. How do you like this transition? Click the link below because th this is part four. This is vocal tone of top singing mistakes, right? So this may not be your primary singing mistake. This may not be the primary one that's holding you back. That you're singing killer, so to speak. If you click the link below, I've got a whole list of singing killers and I've got a quiz that you can take to find out what yours is. And then once you find out what yours is, I'll send you a video to help you fix it because this may not be the only, this may not be the main one or may not be the only one, but it could really help you to fix these singing mistakes and killers to really open up your voice and see what's fully possible with it. So we're doing a giveaway. I'm gonna give away six superior singing method courses because our big goal is to hit 600. That's our next goal is to hit 600,000 subscribers. So as soon as we do, I'm gonna give away six courses. And if you know anything about me, you know I'm about commitment and people like really being in for their art and what they want to do and the life they want to live. So if you just below in the comments just write, I'm in, that will enter you to win one of these six Superior Singing Method courses. The other thing you can do is hit the notification bell. Another way of saying I'm in, I'm committed to, to having singing material in front of my face as much as possible because I want to be a great singer. So hit the notification bell. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, um, go ahead and do that. I'm working toward that 600,000 and also, You've heard me say this before, but I feel like I can't say it enough. No matter where you're at right now in motivation of becoming a singer, I just want to say that don't give up. Don't give up. You've, you've come this far. Imagine, imagine where you are now and yourself, you know, six months ago, two years ago, five years ago, and look how far that you've come. You've come a really long way, and now is not the time to give up on your dream. It's just not, because so often when we're the most discouraged in our art and in our pursuit of our dream is when we're the very closest, right? It's like right around the corner. You don't want to give up. Just keep pushing toward that thing because it is possible. And it's not only just possible, it's possible for you. Okay. So click the link below, take that quiz, and I'll see you in the next video.